right. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome back. I decided to give uh, 10 points to everybody for that last round. Now, the next game is called Props, for the sim simple reason that we use uh, props in the course of it. And we do it in pairs again. And the first pair are Betty and Paul. And uh, this is your prop. And you've got to think of as many different ways of using that prop, while at the same time, the other pair, uh, John and Tony, there's, there's your one. So it's just as you think of an idea, once you've done it, it's a quick, sorry, it's a quick fire round, and I'll buzz and uh, come over here, go over to the other prop, and so forth, and we'll do as many as we can in the time. The time is uh, 7 hours and 34 seconds. <laughs> so starting with uh, you, Paul and Betty, go. Let me out, you bronze, are all the same, let me out! Hello, welcome to great failed prototypes of our time. <laughs> um, number 14, the first condom. <laughs> Uh, madam, would you mind just backing your Rolls Royce? Just back. <laughs> you think I'm a very clever person with cards, don't you? <laughs> I have some bad news, Paul. What's the bad news? This is your X-ray. <laughs> I hear from my Lord of Leicester, sir. <laughs> <laughs> your head will be on the block, surely. I don't know about you, but with my curly hair, this works fabulous. It just keeps it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> you did say you were a qualified cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think uh, I think maybe Tony and <laughs> John. <laughs> Sorry, we're just. Cameraman's just improvising, demolishing the set. It's rather <laughs> very clever. Oh, well, I'll give uh, ten points everywhere there and five away from Martin, the cameraman. <laughs> Try and edit that out. Uh, now, the next go round is called uh, Different Games, and we play different games in the course of this round, uh, which is why we call it that. Uh, now, John and Ball, we start you off with a game called Every Other Line. Uh, John, can you read for us, uh, which I know you're quite good at? Uh, this is a play called uh, The Poison Party. By F. Sladden Smith or Sladen oh, Smith. Yes. Uh, you, you, I don't know. You may know that play already. You may yeah. have been in it. I knew it personally, actually. Yeah. I know it back to front. Now, <laughs> well, all you've got to do is to read every other line in the yeah. script there. Okay. Meanwhile, Paul will be improvising a, a scene, and the scene we'd like you to improvise is uh, you're briefing John on a dangerous mission. Okay, got that? Mm -hmm. And just to make it easy for you, we'll have an end line for you to be aiming at, which will be suggested now, I hope, by somebody in the studio audience. So, a nice end line. Paul to be aiming at. Oh, you lost my shoe. oh dear, I've lost my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't actually lost your shoe. That is, that, that is a line, yes, right. Oh dear, I've lost my shoe. It sounds like exactly the sort of thing somebody might say at the end of that sort of thing. So, away you go then, Paul, improvising your scene. Now, you understand that this mission is extremely dangerous. <laughs> at least it died naturally, which is more than your circle seem to manage. <laughs> I don't think this is a time to swap passwords, do you? Charles, leave those cakes alone. <laughs> yes, Charles, leave them alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know he was in here. No. <laughs> You've got to go to Nepal. All the more reason why I should come and give you a surprise, darling. <laughs> I am lucky. It was, it was going to be Bangkok, but... <laughs> Look. Oh, there's a parcel. This parcel here contains very secret documents. You must read them, digest them, and then swallow them. But why this pathetic touch? I mean, what's in the wind? It's probably Charles again. I've no idea. <laughs> well, Her Majesty is a little tired with affairs of state. Indeed, she is, yes. That's, that's why she's given me this job to do. I'm tired and also hungry, and as for thoughts, that's nothing. Like food for the dumps. <laughs> Now, don't have a go at the dumps. They're my oldest friends. You're exactly like your poor father. My father, he, he went mad, didn't he? <laughs> I've done that line. <laughs> <laughs> Silly five, you must go to the garden of the winged Cupid and carry out your mission. My mission? Yes. <laughs> this started off with me giving you a mission. Of, <laughs> and then Charles came in and then you insulted the dumps and... Oh, dear, I've lost my shoe. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah. Um, well, I think I'll give uh, John uh, 50 points for a brilliant reading there. And uh, 40 to Paul. And that uh, clever way he got that end line in there with the, <laughs> and a suggestion of a joint. It did seem to follow naturally. It did seem to follow naturally. You never saw it coming. No, just five minutes waiting. But 